hello guys and welcome back to the video today I just want to show you guys how to save a bit of money if you got a shaky engine a petrol engine that's got coil pack so if you get a shake like how this engine shaking first thing you need to do is obviously pull it on an OBD port you get them the 10 pound one that anyone would do you just want to see which cylinder is missing So I put it onto the OBD, I seen it was cylinder 3, so I removed this coil pack and I swapped it over to cylinder 4. My one was cylinder 3 that was missing, it had a misfire detected. So I swapped over cylinder 3 and 4, started it back up, it was still shaking because I know one of these coil packs were faulty. So that was cylinder 3. So what I did, I swapped over a cylinder 4 coil pack and put it into cylinder 3 and cylinder 4. So now the fault showing on cylinder 4. So we know that this coil pack is the problem. So we're going to swap this out. That was my old one. Here's my new one. It's an aftermarket one. If I wasn't in such a rush, I'd just take that part number off the top there. And just buy it off eBay where that cost me five pounds. This one cost me twenty pounds. And I put it in and see what happens. So after I started it up, I went and refreshed it. And after I refresh it refreshed it, it moved from cylinder C to D. So I know uh, the D is the fault now and I swapped um the cylinder from C to D. So the D was the problem. no more shaking anymore no more jumping so that's the issue guys so if you got a faulty shaky engine don't panic put it under obd reader and see which coil pack it is swap it over before you even spend a penny and then once you did the trick here swapped it over from cylinder three to four you know it would be that coil pack that's faulty so to save a bit of money just take the part number off the top put it into ebay and buy it and put it in and be happy thank you guys for watching my video please like and subscribe and see you again